I told this guy that I escaped with the other day, like, you know, you don't have to VM the killer just because you escaped. And I don't know if he was playing stupid or what, but like, BM? It's like bad manners, you teabag the guy and you didn't have to do that. And then he turns it into, you can't tell me how to live my life. He plays that card and then he's like, I'll, I'll teabag you. He said he teabag you? Yeah, if I was a killer he'd teabag me too. And those be the type of survivors that deserve the tunneling. <laughs> yeah. Cause like that killer literally went out of his way not to camp and tunnel and that's how you reward him. What message is that setting? What'd you say? Huh? What'd you say? I guess I was just finishing up that thought or whatever. Oh yeah. This freaking guy says... Um, well, I'm trying to tell him over charge call of brine isn't really that effective and blast mine punishes it, especially if a survivor is waiting nearby to start working on the gin after the killer kicks it and is gone. And he's like, well, the survivor is wasting time if he's doing that because... Wesker's terror radius is really loud. He just like teleported right in front of him. Are there two boons down or one? I swear I heard two go down, but I only see one Zora. I don't know where this guy is, he sounds so close every time. Okay, so he has pain resonance. I might have to bring a gin doing build because this is actually ridiculous. Oh my god, here we go. He left her? Yeah, he left her. He's coming back now. Oh, Rebecca!
Girl, will you move? I was just gonna get infected again. They still left you on the ground? Wow. No, they just got me. Crap. I dropped the pallet before he grabbed me. Yeah, they do that a lot. They, they were saying, they were seeing videos of saying, uh, his, like, his hitbox is broken to where it's not in his favor. No, I've been hit, and hit over pallets like four times in one uh, night. There has been many slides. Okay. Rebecca needs to run if she's gonna get that guy. Okay, good. Save. Freaking Nancy seriously had to get hooked under me, and that's the whole reason I got down there. Otherwise, he would have walked away. This is so bad, we gotta get off this freaking side. Cause these guys are going down so quick. I'm gonna find a spray first and then heal. That's something you can totally do against Wesker though. Like, uh, if you see that you're about to get fully infected as he's chasing you, you just, uh, you just let him hit you so that you get a sprint burst and stuff and insta down. Is she just 4%? What are these guys actually doing? <laughs> I just make it so freaking easy on him. Of course, it was their boon. Screw it, I'm just gonna bring one of these sprays with me when Med gets out anyway. Was almost done.
Oh, you did have time to break this? What the heck? <laughs> you wouldn't you swing? Wow. Is that the best you Never shown dead hard before he freaking uh, doesn't fall for it. He wipes it out. I was hitting all those great skill checks too. This is what does on both of these If you can just get close to me, I have a uh, kinship. Okay, it paused my timer. Just come get me or something. Time is about to resume. Level 70 in the rift. Wow, you used like none of that med kit. I don't even know why you bother with built to last. <clears throat> it's really good for solo, but then for some reason when you join, everybody just heals me. Yeah. He's using that uh, joke add-on build because the jewel beetle is the joke add-on and I think what it does is it like makes his uh, rush after he grabs you shorter so that he throws you sooner and then he's got the lion medallion which makes you get thrown further. That was an add-on combo I wanted to try. I can see that being really good with Save the Best for Last. With just one of them. With those add ons? Yeah. Why specifically those? Because it seems like. <clears throat> wouldn't if you throw them sooner, that would mean you get it done with the animation quicker? Uh, maybe. That looks awful. <laughs> oh, apparently I got a sweater at some point. Now the bloody cosmetics from Prestige just look strange on survivors. On killer, it's not as bad. Oh my god, it's the same thing every post. Everyone's complaining that all the Weskers are camping and tunneling and that every match is RPD. It's not every match, it's a lot of matches, but not most of them. Nah, most of my matches... <clears throat> almost all of my matches yesterday was were like Wesker. 
Well, they're saying crap like 90% of my matches were on RPD. Oh no. That's impossible. Unless you keep, somebody keeps choosing it. Oh my god. They just boil down Freddy's power so much, I swear. Like, there is no one killer in this game that gets um, talked about more as having, like, reused other killer's powers or whatever than Freddy. Like, yeah, his snares slow down like clowns, but does he throw them? No. And he has a teleport, like, uh... Shoot, he might have been the first killer in this game to actually have a teleport. Oh no, it would have been a hag first. But yeah, they're literally saying, yes, having dream snares and pallets is boring. And he compared the dream snares to little puddles of ketchup for survivors to step in. <laughs> what a way to dumb down like a super cool looking thing. I can't remember everyone's minds were blown whenever the rework first came out. And now they've done a complete 180. It's just one of those issues I can't drop because it's so stupid. It's boring, what else can I say about it? <laughs> Literally not going into any detail. They just say that something's boring and you're supposed to believe it. Well. I just took this character from 15 to 34. Yeah, you're able to do a lot of levels at a time now since the stuff was cheapened. Plus getting 100% bonus blood points all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> the killer and survivor already started kind of earning the same amount. Yeah, I would have just done brown add-ons are a thousand BP and then everything else is like a thousand more depending on what rarity you go up. Because their idea is a little more expensive for some reason, like commons are 2,000 and then green ones are like 3,250 or something. Finally, somebody who knows what they're talking about. Wesker's pink add-on that lets you break pallets isn't worthy of being a pink add-on. It should be a green or purple. Because everyone else wants a... Uh... I mean, you can see with the pink add-ons for killer in this game, it's either super strong or like super duper weak. Like, Demogorgon has a strong one, the Lepros Lycan, which is like a replacement for a barbecue. But then he has that dumb other one, where it's like... You're completely silent coming out of your portals, but it still plays the map-wide roar or whatever. And you come out of your portal slower than normal. Okay, this guy's trolling. I think it should be a brown add-on. If you had, <clears throat> if you had one exhaustion card to use against Wesker, what would it be? Uh, I guess overcome still, or against Wesker, it would have to be dead hard. Because instead yeah. of him. Whenever he uses his power on you and you dead heart it, it just triggers your dead heart instead of him grabbing you. Don't let me down. The word teabagging is censored in the in game chat. The in game chat censor is such a meme at this point. Because if you try to say kill yourself on hook or say a certain killer's name or whatever, it's just like, nope, censored. 
I don't think it's live this update, but I think they're coming up with an update to add bots to custom matches. So that That'll finally, finally we'll be able to play custom matches without having all five people being there. Yeah, that'll be nice. <laughs> I can already see way less Wesker players. Nope. Not yet. Corrupt intervention. The only killer I'm using corrupt on anymore is Nurse, just because it's probably going to take so long for me to get it down with her anyway. Yeah. It's a spirit. Against good survivors, because I went against some bad ones earlier and it's like, okay, corrupt. Probably wasn't even needed there. And yeah, I was free for her. You have to chase me to corrupt land now. Stun. Spirit just doesn't want to drop chase. That was a good chase. Now let's see how much we get out of it. Yeah, one person's hiding in a locker, two are walking around, and then that one guy just got on a gym. She's gonna unhook me though. Shit, I thought the bed on it. They're just hiding. Nope. Free hit for no reason. Cause she literally ran at the killer. Jeez. Just gonna put out the boon before continuing the chase. If you don't want healing, I mean, I guess she has a med kit. Oh, 
One of the things you have to be careful about with dead hard and having a boon is you'll accidentally dead hard as you're running to put a boon down. She stopped using her power entirely. Oh, that's full crap. Okay, where's this next gym? A dead hearted. Please, Mag, finish that game. I was gonna press dead hard right as I got to the pallet, so I didn't have to drop it. But she somehow attacked me before. You were screwed. <laughs> Cause that guy's just gonna hide and let you take it. He could pallet save though. Go, go, go. <laughs> she even walked backwards through the pallet. What are these guys doing? I need her to get DS'd and then maybe this freaking happens. Finish the gin, oh my god, she takes so long. Let these gins go down, man. They just let them go down, and they still haven't finished that one over there. These guys make spirit seem strong. They're working on Jin solo when they've got Prove Thyself. Meg, the gin was still regressing and you didn't even tap it.
What are they actually doing? Back to the locker. They must think the killer is a bot or something because they're just not looking behind them and dropping pallets willy nilly. Freaking premonition, level one a wiretap. See the spirit, although not being that good, had a build that actually showed she wanted to win. So why are we getting matched with a killer who wants to win, but not survivors who want to win? Because we want to win. Before right when they're describing the system as like two good survivors and then two terrible ones. Ever since they made that change to the Shrine of Secrets, it's been harder to get blood points. What did they change about it? The, uh, the Shrine of Secrets you now do perk tiers. So what was it before? Uh, it was whether you had that perk or not. Now it's whether you have the perk or not and what tier is that. And you only get the blood points if it, you're already at uh, tier 3. Oh wow. Well. So it went from just making the perk teachable when you buy it, and it could be any perk in the game, even DLC. And now it's just, uh... You do it one tier more than what you already have. Yeah. And you don't get... You can't do it for blood points until you're tier 3. So you have to do it three times to get the blood points instead of just once. And I don't even think they'll let you redo it twice. <clears throat> they only let you do it once. Per perk. So what happens when everyone's done that with all the perks? There's just nothing. There's just blood points. So this image I'm sending is what Wesker's dash hitbox was on the PTB and then what it is for live and why people are saying that he's basically gliding past survivors instead of grabbing them I've seen it happen once or twice for me it's the same crap as usual like a survivor can just spin or sidestep in front of you and your whole power misses that's been the case for like every killer's There's power. There's way more problems with him hitting, <clears throat> hitting survivors over the pallet. Yeah, that's a problem that they'll probably fix soon. I'm expecting a lot of his problems to get fixed like that and then not grabbing survivors when you really should be. I just need him to feel smoother like it feels like you're playing the twins again. Cause it takes so long just to get the attack out there. Bro, it's not that bad. RPD, 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 RPD. They just, they just say, uh, 
general statements. Like, they don't, they don't go into it at all. The map sucks, it's boring, no real looping tiles, you can do mind games. Just brain dead trash pallets or brain dead must break pallets. No windows. Trash navigation. Oh, you mean your navigation? Most survivors clueless. So how is that the map's fault? Why is every map since Eerie of Crows incredibly survivor sided? Where have you been? How do you feel about Yamoka Estate? Um, I don't know, I think they're both survivor sided, but now I prefer Sanctum, just barely more than the house or whatever. Because I liked the house for a long time because it seems simpler to me, but it's also super huge, so it's easy for them to split, and uh, they just hold forward like crazy. Freaking Oni, and we're all here. Oni now, have we gone in MMR down that much? He has blood fire. I don't have to use starting really far. Hopefully he didn't give him too much blood with that chase. Oh, there was a path there. I ran to the wrong side. Is he doing running around the edge of the map? He didn't even have a, a target in mind when he activated his power. What the heck? There's no one up there. She is will make it. That's gonna help a lot. Use the pallet, it's right next to you. One hex down. I 
How cool there's a gym there too. He does have Pentimento. Ada. Oh, you're just gonna commit to me? Talk. Who the heck is this guy? I don't know where that hex was, but I think we might just have to push through it. What, you just... <clears throat> stunned. He's got deadlock. Oh, that's another totem he can relight. If you're close to the guy, you might have to be the one to get him. <laughs> 